when my wife and I, uh, about six weeks prior to our marriage, we as so many young couples starting off were poor as church mice. I had a little part-time job and she was working long hours at a bookstore. And a church hired me as an associate pastor and it uh, was a small small church so they could not afford me full time. I had to work outside which which was fine. I was going to school as well and but they said we have a deal for you. We have a house that sits on the church property. They sit on about 11 acres, very similar to our structure, and we have a house that we'll just give you rent-free to live in uh, to kind of offset the, the salary package. And so I, of course, I said, this is an answer to prayer. God is at work. This is great. Uh, phoned up Anita. We went, and, uh, and then when we actually got there to look at it, it uh, was a different story. It was a hundred-year-old house that had termites and dry rot. When we walked in, every room had Pepto-Bismol pink uh, walls. There was a 220-unit dangling out of the ceiling. There was an industrial-sized uh, uh, air conditioning sitting in the kitchen leaking grease. The house had not been occupied for about a decade. Uh, m- m- mice had taken up residence and were gnawing at the carpet. There was a floor furnace, one furnace, a floor furnace, and the house had been, it was so old that it had been built before there was electricity. So they added on a bathroom, and you had to literally walk outside the back porch to get to the bathroom. And it was one of those moments where your soon-to-be bride looks at you, and you look at her, and you don't have to say anything. You know what each is thinking. And uh, it was sort of overwhelming. Where do you begin with this? And beginning in all of our life is half the battle. Where you start is just as important as where you finish, and often where you start is where you wind up. We know this in literature, right? Some of the great pieces of literature have a wonderful beginning. Marley was dead to begin with. It was the best of times, the worst of times. Uh, A long time ago, 